Today's episode, we're gonna talk sandwiches. We're gonna bring you back to a little recipe from the food truck. Oh my God, unbelievable. What is this called? Oh, food freaks, yeah. It also builds on a lot of the recipes we've already worked on on the show. So it's a nice kind of full circle tie-in to some of the lessons we've had in the past. What we're making is chicken parm grilled cheese. This was one of the hits on our food truck. It is one of the things that I just needed to have on the menu was chicken parm grilled cheese, but done right. A lot of what was important to us on the food truck was making sandwiches that were actually grilled cheeses. I didn't want to make a chicken parm sandwich. I wanted to make a chicken parm grilled cheese. And for me, the philosophy was about grilled cheese is that that particular sandwich relies on being proportional. In a sandwich, right, you can go to Cat's Deli and get pastrami piled on high and there's sort of less rules. But for me, if you're making a grilled cheese, you can't have a big mound of stuff. Things have to be proportionate, which means we needed a thin chicken cutlet that sort of matched the size of the bread. Pieces of the mozzarella needed to be right. We needed to have the right amount. All of these things played a role into how we designed our menu and our sandwiches. And so today I'm gonna to show you how we did it. On the truck, we'd obviously have all of the ingredients prepared. That's called mise en place. Having all of your things prepared and ready to go so your service is a lot faster. Today is sort of the same idea. I've showed you how to make chicken and cutlets, so I'll leave a link down below to that video. I showed you how to make chicken parm, so I'll leave a link down to that video. I've showed you how to make this weekday sauce, so I'll leave a link for that video down below, so you can kind of check up and see in detail how all of these little things are made. This video is gonna be how it all sort of comes together to make this sandwich, and there was a process to putting it together that made it what it was. Just to recap, all I did was sliced up a chicken breast down the middle into either two parts or three parts. Then we're just gonna make a simple breading station like I showed you in my chicken cutlet video. Bread the chicken, get that ready. Get them nice and crisp, cook through all the way, let them dry on a wire rack. Then to cook the tomato sauce, you coat the bottom of a wide saucepan with some olive oil, throw in some garlic, let that kind of warm up on low heat until the garlic starts to brown with some basil in there. Then you're gonna add some of your pureed San Marzano tomatoes, let that kind of cook and boil and reduce down so you have a nice thick sauce. Then you have all the ingredients. We got some fresh mozzarella that needs to be dry. We sort of pat it down and release as much moisture as we want. We don't want a wet mozzarella here, but we do want it fresh. So that's important because we wanted that good taste of chicken parm. We've got this Italian white bread, right? So it's like thinner, it's softer. It's not a hard kind of shell on the outside. And it's sort of like white sandwich bread, but made in this sort of Italian style. And it's the type of bread we used. We went to Ore Washer's Bakery in the Upper East Side of New York. They make amazing bread. So if you're in New York, especially if you're in that area, make sure you go check them out. They've got crazy donuts, all sorts of stuff. We got all of our bread from there. And we got our mozzarella from Casa de la Mozzarella in Arthur Avenue. So all of these places we were really focused on the ingredients and a sandwich like a grilled cheese you live and die by the quality of the ingredients we got our bread we've got our chicken cutlets and we want our chicken cutlets to sort of be the size of the bread so as you can see this chicken is gonna fit nicely on this sandwich so we're also thinking about that we've got some fresh basil that's gonna go on the sandwich and we're gonna dip the chicken cutlets into our weekday sauce then it's gonna come together we're gonna make it exactly like we would on the food truck we have a cast iron that's kind of pretending to be a griddle. It has nice even heat distribution, which is what our flat top had. And we're just gonna use mayo and that's it. We're gonna show you the process. I guess I'll also leave a link to the grilled cheese video that I made to show you how we just made our basic grilled cheese. It's a straightforward sandwich. It's simple, it's delicious. Let's just get right into it. Just need to do some quick chopping of the mozzarella. This was basically what I would do every time I got in. In the morning when we would get the cart in place and set up, this was sort of my job. I'd make sure that the mozzarella was cut nice and thin, equally, not all shredded up. It was important because all of this stuff equals waste. So we had to get nice thin strips, equal strips, and not have them sort of crumble apart. So we cut it in half and then cut it into little strips and then kept them in these little bunches so they were nice and easy to peel. So here we have it, we have our two pieces of bread, we start open, and the first thing we wanna do is start to just distribute our cheese. So we're 
gonna take this and I'm gonna dunk it into the hot tomato sauce. It's gotta, gotta be a little hot, so just like, if you're using leftovers, just microwave it. So here it is, got the sandwich, it's ready to get onto the stove. Got my mayo, which I'm just going to first toast up both sides of the bread and then apply a really thin coating of the mayo on each side. That's gonna toast up the bread really nicely. It's gonna add this butteriness that you're looking for without adding a ton of grease and this nice sort of crispy exterior that I personally like in a grilled cheese. So let's just get it over the stove and finish this guy up. Uh, it tastes about right. I can't tell you how that reminds me of cooling down after serving lunch on the truck, being starving, feeding myself, being able to pick any sandwich on the menu that I wanted. I eat that for lunch every day. And I never got sick of it. I just loved sitting over the counter, eating my sandwich, enjoying my hard work. And this reminds me of that. And yes, it's sad that the cart doesn't exist. I can't share that with you. You can't experience it anymore and nobody really ever will. But what I can do is share the recipes that we created with all of you to make at home. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you give this a shot. Make sure you let me know if you do. Tastes just like a chicken parm made into a grilled cheese. Something tells me you're gonna love it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little trip down memory lane. I know a lot of you asked for more food truck stuff, so a lot of exciting things happening. I just wanna say thank you to all you guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, thanks for supporting me, it means the world. We're gonna do good things. So that's all I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself, go feed yourself.